Hello everyone and you're welcome. In our last lesson, we saw how we could work with GeoPandas and we saw how we could build simple polygons using the uh, GeoPandas module. And we also saw how we could do a world plot and also plot some of the uh, cities and columns. So this time around, let's go ahead and see how we can do uh, a geographical plot for the uh, past Canadian election. So the data sets I'm going to be using, let me just go ahead and show you that data set. We'll be using the elections data set and using the elections um, geojson data set. So it's right here. So if I click on elections CSV, all right, now we can actually look at that uh, data set. So this is the data set we're going to be using. It has a district and it has a uh, coder and it, the names of the candidates. So we have Coder, Bergon, and Julie, and then we have the total and winner for that district. And if we actually go ahead and look at the uh, GeoJSON file for the election GeoJSON. It actually has the information that contains the geographical maps. And let's go ahead and click on the raw file and then see that we have a GeoJSON file. So a GeoJSON file actually is sort of similar to a JSON file, but it has the geometry that has a key value there for the polygon and the coordinates. So these are the coordinates that I used to build this uh, shape file right here that we can see on the map. So we're going to use this and we're going to plot that on our uh, uh, file. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get the uh, both raw files. So we'll just get down here. Right here for elections. So I'm just first going to click the election CSV and I'm going to click on raw. So once I have that raw path, I'm just going to head, uh, copy that path and jump over to my Jupyter notebook where I have this. And I'm just going to call this uh, election just like that. And I'm going to set it to that path, All right? Just like that. And let's just pass in a string one and two and just run this cell. So for the election underscore, let me just call that uh, GOJ, GeoJSON. So let's go ahead and also get that path to that file. So I'm just going to go to GitHub and let's get back one step. And we'll click on the election geojson and click on the raw file. So we'll just copy that path from our web browser. And we'll get back here and then we'll pass in that path and make sure we set this as a string. So this is a URL path for our document. Another thing I like to do is just to break this down into two lines. So I'll just hit the return key once, hit the return key, and then we'll use a backstroke and another backstroke. And what we are left to do is just create our import. So I'll create an import on top. So I'm going to import, oops, plotly.express as the alias px. And I'm also going to import pandas as pd. And I'll import geopandas as gpd. And I'll run that also. So we have our path to our election data set and our path to our GeoJSON data set. Now we know from our CoroPlay uh, map box function, we need to pass in a data frame and also a GeoJSON uh, or a JSON file. So uh, we need to convert the election data frame to a uh, data frame. So to do that, I'll just simply use the um, there's simple ways to actually uh, do this. We can actually convert it to a uh, CSV. So let's go ahead and just do that. So I'm just going to say election underscore DF. I'm just here creating a uh, CSV file. So election underscore DF is going to be our PD dot read underscore CSV. And then we'll pass in the election just like that. So after we've read our CSV file, let's just go ahead and check out the content. So I'm just going to say election underscore df dot tail. So 
So you can actually see we have a uh, data frame that is actually uh, reading this uh, data. We can actually go ahead and check the type. So we'll just say type election underscore df. And if we run that, we actually have a pandas data frame. So this is very good because we can now use this and pass that reference to our Coral Play when we want to create our Coral Pleth map when we want to create our map. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and just move on. So next thing we're also going to do is to convert our uh, GeoPandas file, GeoJSON file into a uh, use GeoPandas to convert this to a JSON file, GeoJSON file. So to do that, let's go ahead and see how we can uh, move on with that. So what I'm going to do is just to create a variable. Let's just call that GeoJ. And I'm just going to say GPD dot read underscore file because that's quite similar to a JSON format. This file is quite similar to a, a JSON format. So to do that, we're just going to use the GeoPandas read file method and we're going to read this. So this should bring this in as a uh, GeoPandas data frame. So we're just going to pass in election underscore GeoJSON. Oops. Like this is how we spelled it. Election underscore GeoJSON. And I'll just run this uh, cell. So now we've run this cell. Let's quickly check out the type it's created. So let's say GeoJ. Now when we run this, we can see this is a GeoPandas uh, data frame. In fact, we can even say GeoJ dot header just to check the uh, head. And we can see we have this quite similar to a Pandas data frame. There's a great similarity be, uh, between a GeoPandas data frame and a Geo data frame. Just by putting point that this geometry object contains a kind of dictionary type object that we can use this to reference. So now that we've converted this to a GeoPandas uh, data, uh, geo data frame, and we converted our election CSV to a Pandas data frame, let's go ahead and call in our coral play and then plot our map. So here, let's just say plotting our election map. So we'll create a figure and I'll just say a px dot coropleth and I'll be using a map box. So that's going to be coropleth underscore map box. And for the arguments, we need to pass in our data frame. So I'm just going to say election underscore df. Let's just zoom in one step so we can all see this clearly. And for our geojson, so I'm just going to say geojson equals GeoJ and for the color let's set the color to the winner column from our data frame and for our locations we're going to set the uh, district and just for a quick note this is where I'm getting the uh, locations from this district object right here All right, so that's going to be our location and our feature key ID. Now our feature key ID is a path to a field in our GeoJSON file and we want this object to match with the values that are passed into locations right here. So this district is going to use this value. So let's say a feature ID key. So we're going to pass in the properties dot district because this is a GeoJSON file. So we want to use the district for this uh, GeoJSON file to map that with the locations district, right? So uh, also let's set a center, which is a default, you know, uh, dictionary that contains the latitude and longitude for our Canadian uh, districts. So let's set a latitude. I'll set that to about 45. 0.5517 and we'll actually I'm going to do this in another example so that it actually be clear to everyone. So we pass in our longitude which is a key and value pair and we'll set that to minus 73.7073. You can simply check uh, maps 
to figure out this uh, coordinates, longitude, and latitudes, and you can use that just to center our map. So for our map box style, I'll be using the car throw position. As Kato Positron, and I'm going to zoom this to a value of say, uh, let's say 8.5. And for our title, I'm going to set this to election winner, just like that. Also, for our opacity, I'll set that to uh, 0.3 just so we can be able to see through the map and for our discrete colors underscore map I'm going to create a uh, dictionary with a set of key value pairs so let's go ahead and see that just add a little bit of uh, color to our map so for uh, instance if we wanted Bergen. Uh, I'm going to set Paragon to, uh, let's say, Cyan. I'm going to set uh, Jolie to Magenta. And I'm going to set Quarter. It could be Cordere. I don't know how that's pronounced. And we'll set that to Yellow. Now we can add our last comma, but since this is going to be the last object, there's no uh, real point for that. So let's just zoom out and let's just uh, make sure everything is good. We're not missing any commas. And let's go ahead and just run this cell like that. All right, so uh, the next thing we're going to do is just to display this figure. So I'm just going to say fig dot show, and let's run that. And you can see we have our locations with these uh, values, All right? So we have uh, Jolie, Cotter, and uh, Bergon, and we can actually see those uh, color values you know, popping out for each of those uh, districts. So we know that uh, quarter is this uh, district. These are districts is one for Baragon and for uh, Jolie. So let's see, uh, let's try uh, black. Let's see uh, black and let's run this and let's also run our figure. So I think I'm having a simple bug right here where the color is not actually uh, showing. So uh, I'll just go ahead and check that out. But basically that's how we can uh, create these. Let me try using, uh, let's say blue. And I'll just use a caps for it and run that and also run this. Okay, so uh, I'll just go ahead and check out and see why I'm having that uh, bug. But basically, that's how we can plot these uh, multiple charts and use the uh, geometry feature for the GeoJSON file. So once again, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next lesson.